Hello folks and welcome back to another Wise Game video. In today's video we're going to be playing Classic WoW. They came out with another pre-launch test. It's for this weekend and it ends now on Monday, August 12th, 2019, 9 a.m. Pacific Time. So what we're going to actually touch on in today's video is using add-ons with Classic WoW. Now I have a lot of knowledge when it comes to using add-ons, but I did run into a little bit of a problem using it for this weekend. And that's what I want to touch on in today's video in case if you're having issues and you do want to test some add-ons. Now, we know add-ons is something a lot of people put their nose up at when it comes to Classic WoW, especially using Questy, but I am trying to use Questy in this version of the game for this weekend just so I could speed up my time with my work I, I am way behind everybody else and I'd like to get the cap 15 to get involved in some world PvP so Questy will definitely help me with that plus to me putting hours into finding quest is not loads of fun so if we look at my game right here at the bottom left corner we're gonna see the add-on button that's a good sign that means I did put my my add-on in the correct folder and everything should be working fine. So let's actually click on that. We're going to see that I have Questy version 3.69. And everything looks good here. So now let's actually go into the game and take a closer look. Now here we are inside the game. And we're seeing as soon as I log in that we're getting this uh, Lua report. So this, is, this means that there's some errors going on with the add-on. A lot of times by just hitting ignore, you could still use those add-ons. But in my case, we're seeing that there's not really too much going on as far as Questy showing up in my game. Now, usually you will get an icon up where the mini-map is. It hangs right off the side of the mini-map, just like the clock does, and that's for Questy. Once you click on that, it's going to give you the options and the settings that you want to use. But we see that I, I don't have that. So if I actually go down to the chat box here, and I type in slash Questy, which is the command that they say on the website to use to open Questy. Let's see what happens. And we're going to indeed see that there is nothing happening. Now, there's another way, too, that you could go to the main menu, go to add-ons, and we're going to see that it is activated. So, what's going on? That's what we're going to take a closer look at. So, now we're actually going to cover the steps of installing add-ons, but the first thing you have to do, of course, is go to websites to actually get the add-ons, download them, and then you can install them into your game. As far as I know, Twitch does not support Classic WoW at this moment, so I don't think they have any add-ons available for Classic WoW. So the first thing you want to do is locate your icon that you would use to open up the launcher for World of Warcraft. You're going to want to right-click on that and go to Properties. Once you're in Properties, you're now going to want to go to Open File Location. Once you're in File Location, you're going to now want to go to Classic, not Beta, not Retail, for Classic WoW. So we want to pick the top one in my folder, Classic, double-click on that, and then you're going to want to go down to where it says Interface. Double-click on that, and here's your add-on folder. I'm going to double-click on that, and there we see Questy. So basically, once you download it, you just copy it, and then you paste it right into this folder. But it's going to be extracted. We'll show you those steps next. Now, of course, you never want to put more than two of the same add-ons in this folder. So just for the sake of the video, I'm going to. So now I did just copy my new Questy add-on. And we're going to just right-click and we're going to hit Paste. And it's going to paste the new one now into this section. Now, we're just going to want to right-click on it, and then you're going to want to go to Extract All, or use 7-Zip, and Extract here, which we will do that. And now, this is the folder that the actual add-on now is actually contained. We're going to double-click on that, and if it shows up like this, you're good to go. So, basically, what you would want to do now is clear these other ones out of here. Now, but for different add-ons, you just keep them stacked up in here and just do the same steps. So if you want to use Recount, DBM, so on and so forth, you just don't want duplicates of the same type of add-on. Now, come to find out, the reason why I'm having issues using Questy is because the one that I'm using, which is the one up here, is not the one to use. 
And the reason why is because this is vanilla. It is not classic WoW. Even though they're the same mirror image game, they do not require the same, say, UIs and all that when it comes to the work in add-ons. So you do have to get add-ons specifically claiming that they're for classic WoW and not vanilla WoW. And I will be providing the links to these websites down below. Now, this is a famous website that a lot of people used back in the day in vanilla to actually get their add-ons called Legacy. Legacy, this is where I got my first Questy add-on that we saw uh, during the steps of installment. So this is the Questy that I originally got. Come to find out, somebody told me that's the wrong one. It will not work, and that's the reason why it's not working in my game. So basically, you do not want to use the add-ons for Classic WoW from the ones from Legacy at this moment. This is the website you want to use. This is called World of Warcraft Tavern. And again, I will have the link. So this is the one we want to use for Classic WoW. And we could actually see next to the add-ons, it actually says Classic. It does not say Vanilla. So they have Questy, which is right down here on page two. And this is the one you would want to use if you want to use Questy. So you just click on that and then come in here. It's going to have the description, all the doodads involved with this. And right down below the image on the left side is the download button. So you're just going to hit that and you're going to download the add-on and put it into your add-on folder like we explained earlier. So now what I want to do is I just want to clean this up and take the top one out, which is from Legacy. I'm going to delete that one, and you can keep the zip folder in here, too. Uh, I don't think it matters. I know I do in the live game for Battle Fazeroth. I leave the zips in. So, uh, so let's see if it works now. Because this is actually the new add-on now. It's called Questy Dev Master, and that's the one from the Tavern website. All right, now here we are on our loading screen, and we could see that I still have the add-on button down to the bottom left. And now we're going to see that this one shows a different version number, and it's also in beta. So we're going to close that out, and now we're going to enter the game and see if we can get it to work. Here we are back in the game. And we could actually see now, if you look up to my mini-map, if I could walk straight here, then we're actually going to see now a new icon called Questy. This is what you want to see. Also, if we go down to our add-ons button, we're still going to see it loaded in the game, which is good. And if you notice, we're also not getting that Lua error to actually show up right now. So everything looks good. So if we click on this, we're going to see that all the features and the gizmos that you want to mess with is indeed now in here. Now to actually see if this is all working fine, let's open up the map. And now we could see the quest icons on the actual world map now. And what you actually have to do. So this is mainly what I just use. I just use the icons. I don't care about tracking arrows and all that stuff. I think they kind of confuse me. So, And on the top here too is a button on the top of the map now. Once Questy's working right of hide Questy. So if we do that... It's going to now shut off those icons if you want to, if you actually want to quest now without the add-on. You could simply sh uh, turn it on and turn it off. So I hope this helped, folks, if you ran into the same issue I did today. Basically, it just came down to a simple, simple uh, answer. You've got to use Classic WoW add-ons and not vanilla for Classic WoW. Okay, guys, so hope this helped and you have a great day. Take care and enjoy the uh, Classic WoW weekend. Bye-bye.